Hello from the Longwood Public Library and welcome to our new tech mini-series. While the library is closed, we'll be providing technology tips and tricks for you to practice at home. Today's lesson will be iPhone iPad photography. Let's get started. Most people know that you can click on the camera app to open your camera, but did you know there are some secret shortcuts to get to your camera faster? On the lock screen, swipe from right to left to instantly launch your camera without even needing to unlock your phone. You can also find an icon for the camera in your control center. If the camera icon is missing, you can bring it back by going to the settings menu and choosing the control center and looking for the camera in the list of options. Method number three is the easiest. Just ask Siri. Hey Siri. Open the camera. Done. Did you know your device had different camera modes? It's a good idea to be familiar with these modes so you can choose the right one for the right subject. The first mode is the normal photo mode. This is the standard mode for iOS cameras and is good for most pictures. Portrait mode allows you to take photos with a depth of field effect, which means that it keeps the subject sharp while blurring the background. This mode also comes with different lighting effects. If you have an iPhone 10 or later, you can also take selfies in portrait mode. Square mode takes square-shaped photos, the perfect size for social media apps like Instagram. Pano allows you to take wide-angle shots. Just follow the directions on the screen to get your perfect photo. In addition to the photo modes, the iOS camera also has some video options. Most people know about the standard video mode. Just tap the red button to begin filming a video and tap it a second time to stop. However, you can also try slow-mo for some stunning slow motion videos or time-lapse to get sped up scenes filmed over a long period of time. How do you switch between modes? Just swipe your finger across the bottom of the screen. The iOS camera has some special features. I'll show you where they are and how to use them. The first feature is flash. Like flash on a traditional camera, this feature creates a burst of light to illuminate a shot in a low light situation. You can also turn the flash on, off, or put it on auto. Next we have Live Photo. Live Photo allows you to take a picture that moves for a few seconds when you tap on the Photos app. It can create some fun shots. You can toggle the Live Photo option on or off in the camera. The next feature is Timer. Timer automatically snaps a photo after a countdown, giving you time to get your shot composed. You can set it to 3 seconds or 10 seconds. Next we have filters. Filters allow you to apply different preset effects to your photos, adjusting contrast, warmth, saturation, and other categories. You can press the intersecting circles at the top right corner of the screen to take your photos with filters, or you can add them later in the Photos app. And last is a feature called Burst. Burst allows you to take a bunch of photos in a row by holding down the shutter button. This is a great way to catch subjects that are moving quickly. To choose your favorite shots in a burst, go to the Photos app, find the photo you took in the burst, and choose Select. Check off the shots you want to save and click Done. You'll get an option to keep all of the shots, or only the photos you selected. Having trouble getting the perfect shot? These features are here to help. If you're having trouble lining up your shot, make sure you're paying attention to your grid lines. The lines appear on your screen as you are taking a photo to help get your camera aligned properly. Not seeing a grid? Go to Settings and choose Camera and make sure that grid is enabled. Is your environment too dark or too bright? Adjust the lighting by holding your finger down on the screen and dragging the little sun slider that appears up or down until you're happy with the picture. Is your subject too far away? That's okay. Just pinch the screen to zoom in. You can also tap the 1x button to adjust your zoom as well. That's it for today's Tech Mini. If you have any questions on today's lesson or suggestions for future lessons, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye!